Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Adding Scenery here with Jubilee Road. So in today's episode it's going to be quite a short one. We are going to be doing a little bit of weathering the simple way as I like to keep it here. So recently if you're keeping up to date with things here at the layout I worked on all this in Bankman and so far I'm really happy with it. I've used quite a different uh, number of products here. Most of them are from World War Scenics including these hand-built trees and they really do look the part. Hand built by Martin over at World War Scenic. So if you want some very real realistic trees, go over there and they will uh, definitely get you sorted. So as you can see, that's all looking very nice. The track has been weathered already. I use the same method as in the last add in scenery video I did. So what are we doing? Cable trunking. Now you can see this, I've laid it all the way down there, it's all glued in place. This is done uh, by Wills, I'm sure you've heard of those, this is a Wills kit. Um, it's not 100% to scale, it's slightly a bit too large, but I like using this one just because it's so easy. But as you can see, it looks far too clean and not the quite right colour. So in today's video, I'm going to be sorting that out. So let's just look quickly at the materials I'm going to use in today's episode to sort that out. And basically all we need to weather that cable trunk in, in today's episode is, well, this. Not a lot of equipment or materials, is it? So obviously we have this. I bought this from MIB Models. It's just sort of a wash. It's not necessarily paint. I don't want to paint the cable trunk in this. Is, you can see it's qu really quite liquidy in there and this will create a nice coat of grime is what we're after. Paintbrush is just a cheap pack I bought from a supermarket beginning with A and it's got a green sign out the front. Wonder which one that is, I'm sure you know. But that's all I'm going to use in today. I might use a bit of rail match a bit later on in the video. So today, nice, simple and easy for those of you who do not do a lot of weathering work. So I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. Let's get, to, let's get into it, shall we? Right, so this bit I'm going to work on first. Now, obviously I have said in the past, this side of the layout definitely needs lighting sort out. So as you can see, we're going to get a few shadows. But you can get the idea of what I'm going to be doing today. Obviously, I'm not going to film myself doing all the way down here because we'll be here until sometime next week. So I'm gonna do this area here and then carry on and see what we get. So you wanna get the paintbrush fairly covered in and all you wanna do is just go over the top like this. And just keep going over the top. It doesn't matter if it's slightly darker in places or lighter because that's how it would be in real life. We just brush it on there, taking a little bit of the ballast with it. But you can see the effect you might be able to see across the top. I'll show you what it's like and it does look different as it dries as well. But we'll keep going along this way here as well. See if we can get a little bit on the sides there. Because obviously they would be very dirty as well. You can get a lot more fine scale cable trunking out there. There's plenty of kits you can use. But they require a lot more uh, work to build them. These are not, you just cut them off the sprues and glue them in the place. You could weather them first before you put them on, but I always choose to do it this way. Not sure why. Right, so maybe just a little bit more. You can, you know, it's up to you how dirty you want them to look. There's no wrong or right way of it, because nature, as we know, does a lot of weird, wonderful things out there, doesn't it? So if I just finish this little bit just here, you don't need to do the other side of it because you can't see it, so there's not much point in doing that. Right, there we go, I've completed just that short bit. I'll give you a close-up look now of what that looks like. Here is just a sort of a close-up look then of what I just did. Now, if we go down here, you can see that's not been done, that's the clean, and if we come back here, you can see the dirt and the good thing is with this wash it gets into those gaps you can see the gaps running there and it fills those up with grime and dirt now you can go over this a few times after it's dried or you can leave it as that 
It's not perfect, but I like to do things simple. I just want a slight layer of dirt and grime buildup on that. And if we turn down here, you can see it all clean down there. So off camera, I am going to complete all this area exactly the, how I've been doing this and you'll be able to see what it looks like then. So uh, let's get on with that job. And there we go, I have now completed all that area. It really didn't take long, probably only about 10 minutes. Now obviously as you can see it is still drying and it's quite patchy in areas and again the shadows I know are really annoying. But you can see there the dirt build up there. Now I decided quickly also in this episode you can see these gaps here uh, along the cable trunk, and not this side, this side of the track. So I thought I'd do quickly that in this video as well. And all I'm going to use is this. We got some Woodland Scenics Turf Glue, really good stuff, really proper tacky and sticky. And we're going to use some of this green here, which is actually from Woodland Scenics. You can just see it here. I always put it into the top because it's just easier to use. So all I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue in some of the gaps here and all the way up there just to add an extra detail. Now, I got my glue then. I wasn't going to do this in this episode, but I was looking at this episode and thought, let's add a little bit extra into it. So I got this gap here. You can just see it along the edge of the cable trunk in there. I know you know how to put glue on, obviously, but it's just all part of the... You don't need loads of it. There we go, just pop that just in by there. Just going to use this old screw here just to move it around to make sure it's all where I want it. We need a little bit across here as well. I really do like using this stuff. It's way better than PVA glue and I, I would advise no one to use PVA glue when you're doing this. PVA glue tends to deteriorate uh, over time. I'm sure some of you are aware of that. So there we go. All I need to do now is get my green. Sort of a medium green or is it a light green? I can't remember. Medium green, yeah. All you've got to be careful of, do not get this glue on your fingers. Because this will just, well, turn your fingers green. And it will uh, definitely uh, make sure or as well, I should have said this to possibly towards the beginning. Make sure you turn your track power off. Especially when you're using sort of glues and stuff. It's not because you're going to get electrocuted or anything, but it's just best if you do not have your track power on while doing scenery work along the line side. Yeah, that's looking all right. You just don't want the bare board showing through. To be honest, looking back, it probably would have been a better idea if I had uh, painted the baseboards beforehand. I think that would have made uh, life a bit easier but this is me and I don't make things easy for myself all the time it's almost done this little bit just here but make sure that it's f uh, far enough away from the track it doesn't end up into your locomotives wheels and mechanisms that's th the really really do not want that so let's get it away from the track as much as possible doesn't take long to set in there either. So, there we go. I'll give you a close-up look of that and see what you think. And here we go. You can see the cable trunking down the other side. Now, I'm not going to put it all the way down here. It's going to be in patches and different spots all the way down here. Just to make it look as uneven and realistic as possible. Because I don't want to hide all this cable trunking in, really. But I'm really happy with that. So that is it for today's episode. Hope you find it useful and interesting to watch. I keep it as simple as possible so anyone can do this kind of scenery. Pick up a paintbrush, a bit of weathering, and a still drying actually. I might do another coat on that maybe. And you can all put a bit of glue down and do this. This is a simple way of doing scenery and that is the way I'm going to keep it. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, do you want me to do more scenery videos? I believe that you do, so I will be uh, keeping on with those. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back here at Jubilee Road or on location very soon. Bye, everyone.